Thank you for joining our health webinar entitled How to Take the High Out of High Blood Pressure. Over the next 20 minutes, I'm going to help you understand a natural way to improve the most important organ needed for the regulation of your blood pressure. Most people think I'll be talking about the heart, and while your heart is critical to your health, there is an organ that most people have never heard of, but is absolutely necessary in helping you maintain normal blood pressure. In fact, this organ and its ability to regulate your blood pressure won three American researchers the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine. But first let me introduce you to Jean Lavallee. Jean's story could be your story. In her early 40s, her blood pressure started to climb. It reached the 170 over 110 range and sometimes was as high as 220 over 130, dangerous levels that no doctor or medication was able to solve or control. Through research on the internet, Jean stumbled across the information I'm going to share with you today. After applying this natural solution, and over a nine month period, Jean's blood pressure now averages 138 over 87, and many days it's in the 120 over 70 range. Needless to say, this changed Jean's life in a positive way. It took away the fear that she would end up like her parents who suffered from high blood pressure. And as a new grandma, it's given her the ability to feel confident that she'll be able to enjoy her granddaughter for a very long time. So let me start out by asking you a question. If I could show you a natural solution to your high blood pressure issues, how would that impact your life? I'll let you think about your answer as I begin to share with you information that has the potential to change your life and the life of any of your loved ones who might be suffering from high blood pressure. Information that most people have never heard of, yet since 1998 there have been over 200,000 studies that have shown the importance of this organ and its ability to produce the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. That organ is called the endothelium and it produces a gas called nitric oxide. For many of you, this is the first time you've ever received any kind of comprehensive information about this vital organ and molecule. As you can see by the slide, your endothelium is a one cell thick layer that lines all of your cardiovascular system. It lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries and arterioles, veins and venules are lined by this organ. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Scientists and researchers once thought this one cell thick lining was just an inert membrane that didn't have any purpose other than keeping your blood in the vascular system. However, research in the last 10 years has clearly shown the endothelium to be an active, multifunctional organ that plays a vital role in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. Scientists now believe that your endothelial cells ultimately determine the health of your blood vessels and play a major role in preventing cardiovascular disease and controlling blood pressure. The following picture will give you a conceptual idea on how large this organ is. It's estimated that there are approximately 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the adult body. Every blood vessel is lined by the endothelium. If you took out your endothelium and spread it on a flat surface, it would cover a surface volume of four to eight tennis courts, depending upon the size of the individual. Your endothelium is the largest secreting organ in your body. That's a huge amount of surface volume that can be directly damaged by high blood pressure, resulting in the improper production of nitric oxide. We'll talk about nitric oxide in a little bit, but let me make sure you understand what high blood pressure is. Blood pressure is a measurement of the force exerted by your blood as it travels through your vascular system. When your health care provider measures your blood pressure, they're recording two numbers, your systolic and diastolic blood pressures. When your heart contracts, it sends blood into your arteries. It's this head force of your blood as it pulses through your arteries that's being measured as your systolic blood pressure and is the first number that your doctor or nurse records. When your heart is relaxing, your blood needs to have a pressure sufficient enough to return the blood to your heart and properly fill it. This resting blood pressure is your diastolic pressure and is the second number recorded by your health care provider. For example, if you have a blood pressure reading of 120 over 70, 
then you would have a systolic or working pressure of 120 and a diastolic or resting pressure of 70. On the screen I placed a chart to help you understand the general guidelines your physician looks at in determining if you have a blood pressure concern. As you can see by the chart, if your blood pressure is 120 over 80 or below, then you have normal blood pressure. If your blood pressure is 120 over 80 or more, then you have some concern depending upon how high above these numbers your reading is. If your reading exceeds 140 over 90, then you have high blood pressure or stage 1 hypertension and you need to take this seriously. If your reading exceeds 160 over 100, then you're in a very dangerous category and you need to seek medical help to bring it under control. As you can see by the slide, your arteries are made up of three layers. The outer layer is mostly connective tissue to provide support. The middle layer is smooth muscle. This smooth muscle contracts and expands to regulate circulation and maintain optimal blood pressure. The inner layer is called the endothelium. Again, it's only one cell thick and it protects the integrity of the entire cardiovascular system through a wide range of biochemical actions, one of which is the production of a gas called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule. This means that it's used by the body to cause something else to occur. Damage done to the endothelium directly affects your body's ability to produce nitric oxide. Because nitric oxide is an environmental pollutant, most researchers discounted nitric oxide in helping to control blood pressure. However, the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelial cells convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide and how nitric oxide relaxes smooth muscle in your vascular wall to improve blood flow. At the Nobel Awards ceremony, the presenter of the Nobel Prize made this statement to the three American researchers, quote, your discoveries concerning nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system lifted medical research into a new era, end of quote. And Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, one of the three Nobel laureates, had this to say about nitric oxide, quote, nitric oxide can prevent, even reverse, heart disease and strokes, end of quote. Since its discovery, much has been learned about the role nitric oxide plays in your overall health and wellness. In the cardiovascular system, it plays three critical roles. First, nitric oxide regulates the muscle tone of blood vessels to have a major impact on controlling your blood pressure. Second, nitric oxide stops blood platelet cells from grouping together to form a clot. This helps prevent strokes and heart attacks. And third, nitric oxide repairs damage done to the endothelium and is one of the keys to reversing atherosclerosis and hardening of the arteries. In relationship to your blood pressure, your endothelium plays a major role in regulating the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to contract or relax as conditions in the bloodstream warrant. The most important factor being the production of nitric oxide, which is a powerful vasodilator. This means that nitric oxide diffuses across the endothelium to directly affect the smooth muscle, causing it to relax. While there are many ways to damage the endothelium, it typically centers on four major factors, smoking, high blood pressure, elevated blood sugar levels, elevated LDL or bad cholesterol. Cigarette smoke contains many powerful free radicals in addition to nicotine that directly damages the endothelium. This means that cigarette smoke not only damages your lungs, but also directly damages your heart's vascular system. High blood pressure also damages the endothelium. The constant pounding of the blood against the vascular wall damages the endothelial cells, leading to microscopic tears and injury. Your body's reaction to this is to cover it up with scar tissue that can lead to plaque formations. These plaque formations can build up over time, which narrows the vascular opening to reduce blood flow. Reduced blood flow means the heart has to work harder to push blood through your vascular system. This usually leads to an increase in blood pressure. Elevated blood sugar levels cause oxidative stress or damage to the endothelium and elevated LDL or bad cholesterol can also directly damage the endothelium leading to injury and plaque formations. As you can see there are multiple factors 
that can cause daily damage to your endothelium resulting in injury, plaque buildup, and a decreased production of nitric oxide all negatively affecting your blood pressure. Add stress, a poor diet, and a calcium imbalance and you have the makings for poor cardiovascular health and high blood pressure. Stress because it creates tension in the muscle groups which cause capillary beds to constrict. This increases the resistance to blood flow causing your diastolic blood pressure to increase which negatively affects your systolic blood pressure. A poor diet can limit the vital nutrients your endothelium needs to repair itself and properly create nitric oxide. A calcium imbalance can move calcium out of your bones and into your vascular system leading to the calcification of endothelial cells and hardening of the arteries. This directly affects blood pressure in a negative way. As you can see the health of your endothelium is critical in the management of your blood pressure. Unfortunately most pharmaceutical drugs do not address this issue and most standard methods for treating blood pressure do not address this issue. Yet it is the key to helping you regain control of your blood pressure and reduce your risk for cardiovascular disease. You must properly nourish and repair your endothelium if you want to improve your body's ability to maintain a normal blood pressure. So let's talk nutrition for its key to nourishing your endothelium. To start you need to understand how your endothelial cells use two natural amino acids to produce nitric oxide. The first amino acid is L-arginine. As you can see by the PowerPoint slide, I've listed some common food sources in which to obtain this amino acid. Let me make a few general comments. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least five grams of this amino acid at one time. So I selected six food items that I thought would be common food choices. I did the math conversions to look at how much food you would need to eat to take in five grams of L-arginine. I also looked at the number of calories and grams of fat it would bring into your body. As you can see by the slide, peanuts provide the smallest quantity of food, but they pack on 70 grams of fat and 918 calories. When you examine the slide, you can see the three best choices are beans, tuna, or chicken breast. One can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken are needed on a daily basis. This quantity of food is necessary to have a significant therapeutic effect on your endothelial cells and their ability to properly produce nitric oxide. The other amino acid is L-citrulline. It recycles L-arginine to help turbocharge the endothelium's ability to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. There's not much of a food choice for this amino acid. Watermelon is your one and only good source. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion, which most people never eat. When people realize all the food they need to eat and the limited menu they have to choose from, they begin to ask the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through supplementation? Well, before we talk about supplementation, I need to make one more important point about these two amino acids. When you bring in a therapeutic level of L-arginine, it typically results in a 30-minute to 2-hour window of improved nitric oxide production. When you combine your L-arginine with a therapeutic level of L-citrulline, you increase this production of nitric oxide to an 18 to 36 hour window. This has huge health benefits in helping you to control your blood pressure and repair the damage done to the endothelium. This is so important that the 1998 Nobel laureate Dr. Louis J. Ignaro had this to say in his 2005 national bestseller, No More Heart Disease, quote, any supplement program that does not contain L-citrulline and antioxidants to augment the L-arginine, and most on the market do not, is missing out on a major piece of the potential of nitric oxide to improve your cardiovascular health." End of quote. While L-arginine and L-citrulline are the two most important nutrients you need to pay attention to, the following also play an important role. Vitamin B9 or folic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2. 
Folic acid is extremely important for cellular and cardiovascular health and specific to your endothelial cells it has two primary functions. First, it helps sustain the enzymes used by the endothelium to convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. Second, there is another amino acid called homocysteine that appears to be a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Homocysteine injures the endothelial cells. Folic acid, along with vitamins B6 and B12, can reduce homocysteine levels in the bloodstream to help protect the endothelial cells while also improving their function. Two recent vitamins have also been making it into the new cycle based on solid scientific research. They are vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. When properly combined, these two vitamins help to keep calcium in your bones and properly regulate calcium in your bloodstream. Proper calcium levels are needed for optimal endothelial cell function. Why? Because the creation of nitric oxide starts with calcium. Let me use the following illustration to help you understand the importance of calcium in nitric oxide production. If you walk into a dark room and you want the lights on, you flip the switch on the wall. If you look at nitric oxide as the light, the wiring in the wall as the enzymes used by the endothelium to create nitric oxide and the electricity as L-arginine, then the switch is calcium. Calcium starts the reaction. Vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 help to regulate your calcium levels in your bloodstream so that this reaction can properly take place. Here is a list of all the ingredients we've discussed so far. As you can see by this list, there is a product called Proarginine Plus that includes these ingredients and more to help properly nourish the endothelium. It's important to understand that this product didn't just happen overnight. This is a nutritional supplement that has both long and short-term clinical data to back up its ability to repair the one organ that makes all the difference in proper blood pressure control. Progenine Plus incorporates Nobel Prize winning science, cutting edge vascular research, and pharmaceutical grade manufacturing to create what many consider to be the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace. Progen Plus is manufactured by Nature's Sunshine Products and distributed by Synergy Worldwide. Nature's Sunshine is 40 years old. They're one of the most respected nutritional manufacturers in the world. Both Synergy Worldwide and Nature's Sunshine have received the NSF Good Manufacturing Certification, which means that they meet the highest standards in the nutrition industry for quality assurance and control. The manufacturing process to create the proprietary formulation of Proarginine Plus is second to none. A total of 247 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. And once a batch has been produced, it must also pass through 15 additional tests before receiving its final stamp of approval. This level of quality is also reflected in the people who are associated with this product. On the screen is Dr. J. Joseph Prendergast, considered by many to be one of the leading authorities in the world on the use of L-arginine and L-citrulline for the treatment of cardiovascular concerns. Dr. Joe has been using L-arginine L-citrulline therapy since 1991 to help his diabetic patients experience phenomenal results. Dr. Joe contributed his 20 years of practical experience and research with nutritional scientists at Nature Sunshine Products to develop the Proarginine Plus formulation. What also makes Proarginine Plus unique in the nutrition industry is that it has clinical application and studies to back up its effectiveness. The High Desert Heart Institute is located in Victorville, California. They're considered one of the premier heart institutes in the world. In 2009, they did a human clinical study using Proarginine Plus. In fact, it's the most complete and comprehensive human clinical study ever done on a nutritional supplement. This study involved 33 congestive heart failure patients who were all medically and pharmaceutically managed to the maximum. Over a 90-day period, these patients were given an aggressive amount of Proarginine Plus, and by the end of 90 days, all patients had their medications substantially reduced. 
Dr. Siva, who is the director and founder of the High Desert Heart Institute, made the following statement in a recent interview, quote, What we ended up seeing was remarkable positive remodeling of the heart, positive pulmonary artery changes, pulmonary vascular changes in terms of pulmonary pressures, changes in cardiac dimensions, changes in heart function, end of quote. Because of these remarkable changes to their patients, the High Desert Heart Institute uses Pyrogenate Plus as part of their standard treatment program for their patients, and they continue to do ongoing cardiovascular studies using this highly effective product. Proper nutritional support is critical, and I encourage you to share this information with your health care provider so that a winning strategy can be implemented to help you properly address the one major underlying cause of most high blood pressure issues, which is poor endothelial health and function. That's what Kim did. At a health screening, her blood pressure was 182 over 112. The medical staff wanted to put Kim in the hospital. Instead, she chose to try Proagenine Plus because of the result of her sister, Jean Lavallee. Kim has been on the proc religiously since the end of March, and her blood pressure averages 124 over 72 at the doctor's office. We believe Proagenine Plus can nourish your endothelial cells to help you properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system and the most powerful vasodilator for helping you control your blood pressure. Additionally, Progenet Plus comes with a 90-day unconditional money-back guarantee. When you factor in ingredients, price, quality assurance, clinical studies, and the money-back guarantee, Progenet Plus has the best value at an extremely competitive price. This leaves us with a final question. Are you ready to commit to the 90-day health challenge to see if Progenet Plus can be an aid to you and helping to maintain normal blood pressure? If your answer is yes, then please contact the person who invited you to this webinar. They can assist you in your purchase of Progenet Plus and help you properly start on this excellent product. Or you can contact us at the Synergy Co-op. We've placed our contact information on the screen. We're part of a team whose mission is to help save a million lives. We'll work with you and your health care provider to help you properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production. And if for any reason you're not satisfied with your results during the 90-day health challenge, then you can return all the product, used and unused, for a full refund. Please call us if you have any questions about this remarkable product.